Hello, in this video I will explain some basic concepts of robotic systems such as joints and links. The aims of the presentation are on the one hand to formally define joints and links of an articulated system. In addition to this I will explain concepts associated to those systems such as the degrees of freedom and their mobility. Later I will explain the most common joint types in used in robotic systems and analyze the, the most important ones such as is the case of prismatic and revolute joints. A link is a movable rigid element within an articulated structure or robot. A reference frame can be associated to a link so that any point belonging to the link can be expressed relatively to its reference frame. On the other hand, a joint is an element that connects two links. Joints can be actuated, but they can be also free in movement, or their movement can be induced or inducery by the movement of other joints. In addition to this, joints constrain the movement of links in one or more direction, also called degrees of freedom of the joint. So, the unconstrained motion refers to a rigid body that freely moves in a 3D space. This motion is defined by three position variables and three independent orientation variables. Two widely used concepts are the degrees of freedom and mobility of an articulated system. The degrees of freedom are the numbers of position and orientation variables that define the motion of an articulated system. While, on the other hand, the degrees of mobility are the numbers of elements that can move independently, usually referred as the number of motors of a robotic system. The mobility analysis of an articulated robotic system will depend on the number of links, L, including or including the fixed link, as well as the number of joints, J in this case and the degrees of freedom for each of the joints, Fi, following the mobility formula shown here. In the case of a coplanar motion, the mobility formula is limited to a maximum of 3 degrees of freedom per link. Here we can, we can see uh, two simple uh, cases of an articulated system. In the first case, the total number of links, including uh, the fixed uh, link, is 8 number from 0 to the number 8, in this case. On the other hand, the total amount of joints for this particular robot arm is 7, each of them with a single degree of freedom, so Fi is equals 1. Therefore, the mobility of this robot is 7. On the other hand, in the 4-bar mechanism below, the number of links is 4, as well as, in this case, the number of joints. Again, each of these joints has a single degree of freedom mobility, also, so also Fi equals 1, and therefore in this case the mobility for this robot is 1. This leads me to introduce what are most common joints that we can find in a robotic system. As you can see, a ball joint or a spherical joint allows 3 degrees of freedom all three defining the relative orientation between uh, links. A planar joint, on the other hand, allows two degrees of freedom, both on position and uh, position variables. But here, in the, in the animation, you can see also that the joint can rotate, so some planar joints can be considered as three degrees of freedom, so just a uh, minor consideration. The cylindrical joint has two degrees of freedom, but in this case, one, or this one allows changes in the position of an axis and also in another, uh, the, the other degrees of freedom, uh, it's affecting to the orientation. On the other hand, we have joints that they have one single uh, degree of freedom. This is the case of prismatic and revolute joints, as you can see in the animations. And in fact, these are uh, the most common joints uh, types that we can find in many robotic systems and this is the reason why we'll study their characteristics later. I also would like to mention uh, the carton joint that allows one degree of freedom, and uh, this type of joints are used within universal joints in pairs, 
allowing two degrees of freedom to transfer the motion from one axis to another axis with a different orientation. As I mentioned, prismatic and revolute joints are the most, or the most widely used in robotics. So in this table I show the most relevant characteristics of each of them. Uh, though um, revolute joints are in fact the ones that are mostly used in robotics, partially because they are cheaper, they are lighter and they allow up to six degrees of freedom to be controlled. And that's the reason that's why they are vastly uh, used in, uh, in industrial applications. Prismatic joints are uh, used basically in Cartesian robots and the main advantage is that they are Inverse kinematics is very simple, but only allows to control a maximum of three degrees of freedom, corresponding to the position. Prismatic joints are usually denoted with the letter P, while revolute joints are usually denoted with the letter R. Well, in this video, I have explained some basic concepts of robotic systems such as joints and links. I have also introduced concepts or widely used concepts such as degrees of freedom and degrees of mobility and presented different joint types. Thank you very much.